Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. We are continuing to creating our uh, complete uh, series building. Uh, you, if you remember in the last uh, tutorial we finished, we stopped, I mean, on uh, this uh, type of the panel. But in this tutorial we will finish it. So what we should did uh, for this building, for this panel, I mean, we should create this uh, frame. So we should create the frame. I think we will create only one type of the frame and we will use it, it overall. Let's maybe we'll switch to the again to the map uh, panel and let's start to create our frame. Let's maybe we'll create the first uh, uh, our uh, boundary frame. Uh, actually, I want to see the my generic uh, generic models. Let me we'll hide this and double H H on your keyboard. Now you can see only the our frame. And we need the adaptive family. So let me will create the adaptive family, new one. Let's go to the file, English one templates. And here we will find the mm, metric generic adaptive, this one. Once you will go there, let me will go to the top view. I need only four points. Let me will place four points like this. You can of course use the dimension if you want. You can do like this, for example. You will see why I am using that that way. One, two, three, four. Let's select it. Let's equal. It's only for you to making uh, your work much easiest. Okay, so uh, yeah, we also need. Oh, we can use the align key actually. Let me will align it. Not like this. This is a bad way. Let's say I will select everything. Let's say I make it adaptive one. And now I have the working plane. And now I can easily align it. Okay, done. We align it. Except the last one of that. Okay. Now we can create the reference line. Don't forget the 3D snapping. And let's connect one, two, three, four. Like this. Okay, now let's uh, place somewhere uh, one, just one dot, select this dot, go to the uh, show reference panels, show always it, and show normal reference, and switch off. And now you will see working plane of this dot. Uh, let's go to the closer, much closer to this point. Let's set this working plane, and let's create a rectangular one. Don't forget and switch 3D snapping like this. I will go to the right view. Here is my right view. And now I can use dimensions. Let me will use dimension for this part. Here is the 100 one. And here it's much bigger. I will select this part. Use the top key to select only this H. And say here is 100 millimeter. Now I will use the manual way. After that we will make it parametric one. One here and one here. Okay, let me try. Here will be 150 for this age. 150 and for this age will be 152. Again, use the top key to select age and 150, change it. Let's I will delete it and now it's time to change it by dimension and equal distance. Let me try it. Here you should be, be careful till line and let me try to make it equal yes it's working let's say use dimension for overall distance like this and let's do the same thing line reference line line don't forget the, uh, you should connect to the reference line and equal and again you need overall distance let me change to the one to the ten because it's too bigger and we need only two dimension here it will be dimension v let me write like profile, profile, W. So we will, we will understand, so this is width. And this is will be height. Okay, the same thing, profile, H. Don't make it instance, so we will uh, make everything here. I, I, I don't think so, you need it instance. Let me make the height of that. It will be 150, I think. It will be pretty enough, pretty enough. And the width, it will be 75 millimeter. Let's say OK. If it's not, uh, will be enough for us. We'll change it. Uh, select your profile. Select your uh, reference line. 
and create the form. And here is the form. Once you will create the form, select your profile. Uh, I mean the uh, generic form uh, which, is you, which you created by profile. Go to the material and change the material. If you already know which material you will use, change it right here. If you don't, create the parameter and make it instance and change it later on. Uh, I will create the new one and this parameter I will ch change by library. This small button, this is library. And I will use the aluminium. Here is the aluminium. Let's use the, uh, I don't know, fat one. Let's say OK. We change the material. Uh, and before we will load our profile into the our uh, panel, let me, I will save with the proper name. I will save it. I will save it in my documents. And this is, will be a uh, four point, four point adaptive profile. Okay, let's load it inside uh, to the our panel. Here we are. And let's connect with our dot. One, two, three, four. As you can see, we created. Uh, let me will unhide everything. And as you can see, here is our uh, extension uh, panel already. It's here. So we did one part. But now we should create the other part. Uh, the other part we will create only not four point. Mm, I'm mentioning your uh, on the four points because here we created uh, our adaptive profile by four points. Now we will create by two points uh, because we want to connect this point with this point and this point with this. Okay, let me I will go back to the file, the new family. And again, English template, and we need again and again generic model adaptive. Let's go there. I will go back to the top view, and I will use the model points. We'll place two points. Select these points. Make it adaptive one. Uh, go to the reference. Use the line, and don't forget 3D snapping and snap one line, uh, one point to the another point. Okay. Now go to the reference, use the point, and be careful when you will place your point. You should place it exactly on the reference line, not uh, the, I mean, yeah, to the reference line, not uh, this line. Let's place it, select this point, don't forget to uh, change when selected to the always, and unselected show normal reference, done. Uh, now we need the same thing, we should set our working plane. After that, we should place it our rectangular. Don't forget unswitch 3D snapping. Place it. Go to the left view. Here we are. Use the dimension, one dimension, reference line, dimension. Again, dimension, reference line, dimension. Uh, overall dimension, of course, for this side. And overall dimension for this side. Like this. And this one, you should make it equal. This one, you should make it equal. Okay. And again, we should create the new profile. Profile. We. And profile H. Profile H. Say it okay. And let's go back to the uh, family types. Here under the height, uh, if, you, if you remember, it's 150, and here 75 millimeter. Let's say okay. So we did it. Uh, oh, I didn't like this view. Uh, like this much better. Okay, now once you did it, select your profile, select your reference line, and create the form. And again, about the material, select your uh, generic model, go to the material. Uh, create the new one material, go to the library and use the aluminium uh, or some another material which is you want to use. Uh, I use the fat one and say OK. Done. Uh, now we should again uh, save it. Let's save it and again we will save it to point adaptive profile. Let's load uh, to into the project and close it. Let's load it inside to the panel. Let's say OK. And now it's not useful to place our uh, to our profile. Why? Because it's so messy here, right? 
let me I will select everything again, filter, uh, check none, and generic models, and I want to hide it, just use double HH. Sometimes it's not working, sometimes it's working, okay, that, done like that. Now go to the create, and here you will find the components, and here is our two-point profile, as you can see, two-point profile. And let's place it one point, second point, one point, second point. And we need also the, for this side, like this, we need also the place for this one. Be careful, point to point, it's really much, it, it's really matter. One point to point, point to point, and point to point. Okay, we did it. Now let's unhide everything, rest, uh, reset temporary, and as you can see, here is our panel. Here is our panel in project, here we did it. And now, now it's time to test it. Uh, let me go to the file, uh, I will create the test project in conceptual mass. Actually, we did it uh, in the last tutorial, but I just lost this file, sorry. Uh, and I will create the one more time. So let me will place one line here. Let me will say this is, will be like uh, 25 meter. And let me will create the form, and the form will be the note. Let me make the 40 meter like this. Now we should create the uh, surface. Let me will create the surface, and I will change the our U grid to the fixed distance and V grid also to the fixed distance. Uh, here will be 5,800 5, millimeter. Uh, and here will be 11, 11, 800 millimeter. Oh, sorry, it's opposite. Here will be 11, and here will be 5,800 millimeter. So it will be like this. As you can see, we should get here the sum uh, number number of panels. And I will don't use the boundary type partition one. We not will have it just empty. Now let's uh, time to the load our panel, let me will save it first, let's load it inside to the, our test family here, let's select our surface and let's change our pattern to the panel. And as you can see here is our panel, uh, here is the reference, here is the panel, as you can see. Let me will show you somewhere else, oh sorry, somewhere else. For example, here, as you can see, it's now watching on the one uh, side, but we should make it uh, on the uh, watching the opposite side. Anyway, anyway, we created already our panel. So as you can see, it uh, looks like <laughs> what we want, but anyway, we are uh, on the right uh, on the right way. So uh, I think uh, this tutorial with the panels it's already finished. Uh, we not will place it our panels right now inside to the project. We should create some uh, floors and uh, levels before we will do that. And after that, only we will place our panels there. Uh, if I will go to the realistic one, you will see our panels now have the also the same color. So guys, uh, if you like this tutorial, don't forget to uh, like this tutorial, uh, share and comment, please. And we will continue in the next tutorial to creating this building.